hoping they have a product which will provoke a more favourable reaction, are Gary McDonough, Lauren Gould and Ben Greenock. Everything's going to be OK. The entrepreneurial trio believe in wearing their hearts firmly on their sleeves. We're pretty confident that we're going to get investment today. For me, I like uh, Nick Jenkins. I just like the fact that he's scaled the tech business from scratch to exit for millions, so. Yeah, Nick Jenkins for me too. So if you're listening, Nick. Okay, let's do this. All right, let's go. Hands in the middle. One, two. Hi, I'm Gary, and I'm the co-founder of Double. I'm here today with my two fellow co-founders, Ben and Lauren, to ask you for £75,000 in exchange for 10% equity of our company. Double is a location-based dating app, but for double dates. It allows you to sign up with a friend and then find other pairs nearby. Double dates are inherently more fun due to group dynamics. There's less chance of awkward silences and safer due to safety in numbers. Our vision at Double is to make dating fun and safe for our generation. Now over to Ben for a demo. Nice one. How you doing? So you want to go on a double date, but how does it work? So the first thing you see is the home screen that shows you pairs nearby. But before you can like or pass these pairs, you need to double up with a friend. You can see here, I've doubled up with Gary. So I can go back and like and pass pairs. OK, so if a pair you've liked likes you back, that's a match. And that creates a group conversation between the four users within the app. So if I click on Lucy and Flick, so me, Gary, Lucy and Flick can have a chat, you know, get some banter going, find out what we like, but most importantly, arrange a double date. Great demo, Ben. Thank you. The online dating industry is growing at a rate of 5 to 10% a year. And by 2016, it's going to have over 100 million users in the space. But at present, there is no one app that offers a group dating solution or uh, the ability to facilitate double dates. So Dragons, we want to double up with you. And together, we can be a part of what the Mail Online and Mary Claire are calling the next tender. Thank you very much, and look forward to answering any of your questions. A new take on online dating from Gary McDonough, Lauren Gould, and Ben Greenock who are seeking £75,000 in return for a 10% stake in their company. Self-confessed romantic Tuka Suleiman gets straight to the point. I'm the only bachelor dragon here. Oh. Perfect. But I must admit, I've never been on an online date. Take me through the experience of why, if I want a date with somebody, I'd want to share it with two others. OK, so yeah, I'd say to that, if you haven't experienced online dating for yourself, as you freely admit, things can get awkward and intimidating quite fast. So if you're with a friend, it mitigates these risks. I mean, with all due respect, I wouldn't necessarily say you're our target demographic in regards to not necessarily your age. That wasn't an offensive oh, comment in any way, shape or form. Are you saying I'm too old? Well, no, because you're, no, you're saying you're confident. So you're saying I'm confident enough to go on a first date. There's a third of people out there who aren't confident enough to go out on these dates. So that's the term, target demographic that we're trying to address. Guys, what's with the suits? The suits, we're a young, dynamic, fun company. We wanted to wear something that reflects our brand. You want to stand out from the crowd. You want to be the purple cow in the field. It's like, why would you call a company Moonpig? You want to stand out, be different. Well, that's because it was his nickname at school. And this that's is the true. only suit I own, so... <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you were, like, kind of, let's do that. And you were fist pumping, what's fist that? Fist pumping. Showcases the teamwork. So we're in it together. It's the teamwork. But also, it's a, it's, a, it's a little fun. I mean, we're wearing these suits, so it doesn't make sense to come here and, you know, give an incredibly dry presentation. You want to have, you want to have fun with it. Guys, are you having people think that it's a swinging site? Th that has come up once or twice. Um, yeah, absolutely. But hey, that's a whole new market. I mean, it was the first <laughs> thing I thought. Don't anybody read really. anything into we that. We do not encourage that. <laughs> that was the fastest backpedal I've ever seen in the den. Not really, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Chemistry in the den, as the entrepreneurial trio make a positive first impression. Tuka Suleiman wants to find out 
how they intend to convert flirting into finance. If I want to join, mm -hmm. not that I do, by the way, yep. right? If I want to join... You do. <laughs> <laughs> what will you charge? How do you make your money? At the moment, the app is free, and it's always going to be free, but we aim to introduce a freemium model this summer. We're already working on it. At present, you can like or dislike people anonymously, but if you really like someone, if someone catches your eye, you can then send them a notification of interest, and what we do is we charge the user for that notification of interest. Give me a shape of what that's going to look like. In terms of financial projections? Yeah. So, brace yourself for this. At the end of year one, we're looking to have uh, 45,000 users with a gross of uh, 16,000 pounds profit, uh, but a net loss of 98,000. Uh, year two, we're looking to have uh, 490,000 uh, users with a gross of uh, 240,000 profit, but a net loss of uh, 63,000 pounds. And then uh, in year three, we're looking to have 4.5 million users uh, with a gross of 2.4 uh, and a net profit, finally got there, uh, of um, 1.3 million. Okay, so you are looking, you, you, you're looking to lose 150K between now and the next uh, two years? Yes. Where's the other money going to come from to fund the losses? So this £75,000 is uh, the start of an initial seed round, which we're looking to raise. The remaining 75000 would be through uh, other investors. So if I was to invest in you today and you want to go and fundraise, do I then dilute further? We would need to discuss that a later date. No, we need to discuss that now. Okay. No, it would come out of our share. Your dilute, it would, your it, share. It would, be, it would be part of the same round. So, no. Peter Jones has extracted a guarantee that further fundraising wouldn't result in a drop in Dragon equity. Online brand builder Nick Jenkins could be Gary, Lauren and Ben's perfect match. Guys, I, I think, I think you've really, I think you're really onto something. Um, because it's a very elegant way of solving the awkwardness of that first I encounter. Have you done online dating? Yeah, I, I did actually, a few years ago. And part of the awkwardness is that you meet someone, you go on a date, and it's because, OK, at the end of this evening, we have to say, do you like me or do you not like me? And, and I've always found that really quite sort of awkward. And in a way, I can see how this is just actually a, a much less sort of pressured route to, to, to dating. So, I'm going to offer you all of the money, um, but I'm going to offer it for 20%. I think that partly reflects the risk factor, um, that this is it's a great idea, but it's still very embryonic. A good start for the entrepreneurs, as their preferred dragon investor breaks the ice with a £75,000 offer, assuming the double daters are prepared to give up double the equity. Can Sarah Willingham, who made her fortune in the food industry, see past her earlier concerns and add the dating site to her business portfolio? Guys, I can't think of a situation where I could have gone on a good double date, if that makes sense, where we wouldn't have fancied the same bloke or they wouldn't have fancied one of us and not the other. I can't get past that. I'm sure it's going to cause more friendship breakups than it is marriages. I just can't get past it. So good luck with everything, but I'm afraid on this one I'm out. Guys, um, I think you've, it, it's a really good pitch, um, but it just isn't something that... I think it might be a lack of knowledge. Um, because I've been lucky enough not to have to apply to go on a dating site. Um, it's amazing what money does in your life, isn't it? <laughs> um, but the, it just hasn't grasped me. This isn't for me. I'm going to say that I'm out. Both Sarah Willingham and Peter Jones have now given the online daters the elbow. Tuka Suleiman might not be their target market, but that's not to say he couldn't be the trio's dream investor. Guys, I'm going to make you an offer. 
I will offer you all the money, 75, for 20%. And, and there's probably some benefits where there could be some free accommodation for you. There could be some tech support, if need be. But it all depends how we, how we structure it. With two matching offers of £75,000 for 20% already on the table, have Gary, Lauren and Ben stirred Deborah Meaden's passion for a deal. Guys, um, I didn't wake up this morning thinking, I want to invest in a dating site. <laughs> it's not particularly been on my agenda. But you're good. I can see as a collective how, how, it, you know, how it would work and the energy you've got and the ideas you've got. Um, so I too am going to make you an offer. But I'm actually going to make you two offers. So... I'm going to offer you all of the money and I want 20% of the business. I'm going to offer you half of the money for 10% of the business and I'd be very happy if Nick was up for it to share. Competition is hotting up as Deborah Meaden weighs in with a dual offer. The full £75,000 for 20% or half the cash for half the equity. But she will only partner up with Nick Jenkins, leaving Tuka Suleiman jilted. Nick and Deborah, your offer is very appealing. But is there any chance you'd be willing to come down to 7.5%, collectively 15% for the same equity share? You, you want to be making a noise in a busy life, you know. I, I want to be able to give you what you, what, what the, the attention that you need, and I worry that if I drop below 10%. You're essentially paying a, a, a premium for, for, for our involvement and, 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 and what we can add to the business, which is very, very different from just getting money from somebody who puts the money and shuts their eyes and, and hopes that that's going to do something. Okay, it's, it's a very different thing. But I would be prepared to do 75 for 15%. Okay, okay. On your own? On my own. A surprising development as Nick Jenkins snubs Deborah Meaden in a last minute bid to snare the deal. We came in here with a game plan and it's worked, so we'd like to accept your offer. Yay! <laughs> okay. Thanks very much. Thanks Cheers. Thanks very much. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Oh, thanks. Thanks. So no love lost in the den as Dragon turns on Dragon. But for Gary, Lauren and Ben, it's a marriage made in heaven. Oh, it's so surreal. Like, uh, what, are we, what are we doing? Oh, wow. Group hug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> very, very surreal. Exhilarating. I yeah. am over the moon peg. <laughs> 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 <laughs>